what's up? This is Hunter Nelson, president of Tortoise and Hare Software. And Tortoise and Hare Software is a Jacksonville-based digital marketing and web development company. Um, and today we're going to be talking about why you should bid on branded keywords in your Google Ads campaigns. So I'm going to pop over here to our blog post and kind of just run through this real quick. Um, so first, what is a branded keyword? So branded keywords when somebody searches for your business or brand specifically. So that would be somebody going into Google and typing in tortoise and hare software or whatever your business name is and searching for that branded keyword. Um, so a lot of times you're going to be the top spot for your branded keyword. So people kind of wonder like why should I even bid on these things? Like what's what's the point if we're already on the top spot. Um, so there's a lot of reasons to do so. Um, one is that you're not always going to necessarily be on the top spot when searching in other places. So uh, I'm here in Jacksonville. If I search tortoise and hare software, it's going to be extremely likely that that's going to be the top spot for people searching in Jacksonville. But what if you're in Washington State? You know, I mean, what if? there's something a business that has a similar name um, it might decide that they're due to the proximity of the searchers location to Washington that they should show a different result in the top spot but if you've been uh, advertising nationwide and somebody's searching tortoise and hair software then you might want to make sure you're getting top spot or at least at the top of the page with a branded keyword bid um, um, so Another good reason is that you can uh, capture slang searches. Um, so people might not always search for your brand name exactly or re remember it exactly. So like, for instance, we do a lot of digital marketing here at Tortoise and Hare Software, so people might search for Tortoise and Hare Marketing. So I might keep that in my branded keyword bid group and bid on that for when people search for it. Um, there's also, you know, companies that have um, popular words like consultants or software etc in their um, brand name and that's a good way to kind of um, capture those slang searches that are people when people are searching for like consulting um, for their business or something so another good reason here is to distinguish among duplicate business names um, believe it or not most state name reservations are made at like the state level um, so you can have two companies name the exact same thing and um, you know that if you want you can like kind of geographically limit your campaigns so if people are searching for tortoise and hair software in Georgia there's not a tortoise and hair software in Georgia but if there were you know I can have a campaign that's running to make sure it's top spot for people that are bidding in Florida or even try and steal a few competitor uh, searches um, another good reason is that you can control your search engine result page messaging or SERP um, so if your site is optimized correctly you'll be eligible for ones known as site links um, and those are these uh, extra links to inner pages within your site um, but the thing is you don't have any control on what those links are and they rotate sometimes and Google's experimenting um, and it might not necessarily be the pages that you want in those site links. Um, you've also got your meta descriptions um, from those pages that are loading and what works for SEO might not necessarily be what you want to push from an advertising perspective so um, you might want to have some different copy in your ads than what you would put in your meta descriptions. So when you're bidding on branded keywords, you can control the messaging and which site links are displayed and some things like that um, against the branded keywords. Um, and just one thing to note is that branded keyword searches are super cheap. Um, since they're extremely relevant to the search, you're usually going to get a very high quality score, which is going to mean the cost of your click is going to come way down. Um, so it's very negligible. And considering the value of the audience, you know, people searching directly for your business name, it's it's really a no-brainer. Um, 
You can bid on branded keywords to add additional information, which is great. So here's an example of showing the business phone number straight there in the search engine results page. Um, there's also new lead gen forms extension, so if people are on mobile, they can submit a lead gen form without ever leaving the search engine results page. Um, you can give them your address, uh, and then you can do also like just with other little extensions like call out extensions, structured snippet extensions. They're going to allow you to just add additional information to the search engine results page that's not necessarily available within the organic listings. Um, I mentioned competitors earlier, but a good way and one of the main reasons to bid on branded keywords if you're like a medium sized business is just to protect yourself from, from competitors. So if you're in like an oligopoly sort of situation where you have two or three main competitors that are all offering a similar product and fighting for market share and such, then those sort of situations tend to definitely draw in competitors bidding on your brand name. Um, so one reason is, you know, again, your clicks are going to be super cheap, but if you're not bidding on your own brand name while your competitors are, it's going to be cheap for them too. But if you are bidding while your competitors are, it's going to make it much more expensive and deter them from bidding on those. Um, most of the time they'll still bid on them anyway, but you want to make sure that you're making it as expensive as possible for them. So that's a good reason to bid on um, brand keywords is just to protect yourself and make sure you're um, maximizing the difficulty in capturing clients away from your you know, business for competitors too. Um, you want to bid on branded keywords to improve your ad account quality. Um, so one of the things that influences quality score on an ad account is a metric called the expected click-through rate. And um, branded keyword searches usually have super high uh, click-through rates, and those will increase the the account history and make your account look better, which will raise those quality scores and lower your costs. So um, I don't have any specific data on this, so take it with a grain of salt, but I would almost think that bidding on branded keywords might even be covered by the cost reductions you'll receive in other um, quality scores reductions. Um, so, you know, it's just worth it in that regard. Um, you know, another reason to bid on branded keywords is to send people to a different landing page. Um, you know, your homepage has, is pushing your brand, but uh, if you have people searching directly for your um, you know, brand and you know they're in a remarketing audience or something like that, for instance, you might want to send them to a different landing page. Or you might have several flavors of your landing page that are what's known as doorway pages for different locations. Like, so for instance, if you have an office in Jacksonville, Tampa, Orlando, Miami, etc and you geo geographically target your branded search campaigns and people are searching for you know your business in Miami then you maybe send them to the Miami version of the landing page rather than your default like generic home page um, so yeah you can kinda send them to a different landing page and make the message more tailored to them um, so that's another good reason um, and just to kinda wrap up here there's a lot of good reasons to bid on branding keywords I've covered many of them in this post um, they're super affordable, they protect you from competitors, you can show them a different landing page, um, you know, they help your account quality overall, and there's, they're just a really good idea. Um, so I highly recommend that being one of the first campaigns that you create on your Google Ads account. And uh, if you need any help navigating your Google Ads account, uh, we do PPC management here at Tortoise and Hare Software, so uh, give us a call. Um, I hope you found this video valuable. If you want to read this post, uh, just go and look on social media in the comments. The link will be in the comments below the video, or you can find it in the description if you're viewing this video on YouTube, or just come on over to tortoiseandhairsoftware.com, uh, check out the blog, and search for bid on branded keywords. Um, again, hope you found this uh, video valuable. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and uh, until next time. Thanks for watching.